This morning, many businesses all over the upstate are doing what they can to keep customers engaged during the pandemic. And the top place in the upstate for comics and games is doing a great job. Fox Carolina's Joe Gagnon is at home this morning telling us all about Borderlands Comics. Joe, how are they keeping in touch with everyone? Well, they're using something called, hold on, Facebook. Ah. This new thing. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, no, ridiculous. So they're having these amazing live streams each and every single Wednesday night. They last for a little more than an hour usually. But if you're really into comic books, you'll be able to check it out because they're having a big auction that pits you against the entire world to get some of the most rare and exotic and different comics you can ever imagine. Even brand new ones, too. It was really fun. And so we're actually able to talk to Rob Young. He's the owner of Borderlands Comics. And he says since they closed their doors, people have been really trying trying to get all the things that they sell at Borderlands because it's perfect if you have to stay home. And so at first, when the coronavirus was heading here to the upstate, their business was booming. And our business being a little different was that things like uh, board games and models and those kind of things were flying out the door because people were like, we're going to get locked down. I want something to do <laughs> that'll eat up some time. Um, so people were doing that, but we couldn't replace them because all the distributors were closed. Yeah, so they were able to sell their inventory super quick, but when they needed to get a shipment of new stuff, it was hard to do. But they do have plenty of comic books to sell on their Facebook page. So just like and follow their their page. Again, Borderlands Comics and Games. It's here in Greenville on Lawrence Road, um, and they have a brand new facility that they're working on too that's even bigger. And they, have, they plan the South Carolina Comic Con, which is such an awesome weekend. That's been moved to July at the Greenville Convention Center. So they're keeping busy, even though the doors are closed. Back to you. It's awesome, Joe. It's great to see that people are still, you know, taking part and being involved and giving them a little business. It's a hard time for everyone, so we love to hear about this. We'll check back.